Oh, you don't have to wait until spring to smell the roses. The annual Connecticut Flower and Garden Show is returning to Hartford next month, and there will be over 300 booths at the event, overflowing with fresh flowers, plants, and much more. Now, one exhibit you can expect to see comes from the nonprofit organization Knox. Friends of the show, you guys have been here several times, and we've visited you all on site. Uh, here with us this morning, we have Patrick Doyle, the executive director of Knox. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, so excited to have you guys here. So first up, for people who may be unfamiliar with Knox, tell me a little bit about what you guys do here in the community. Absolutely. So we were founded over 60 years ago by a Hartford City Councilwoman named Betty Knox. So that's where the Knox comes from. And our founding vision was really about making sure we preserve all of Hartford's green spaces and help make sure that everyone in the city has access to the benefits those green spaces provide. So today that looks like planting trees in the city of Hartford, managing community gardens, we have an urban farming program, and of course we engage both volunteers and apprentices to help do that work alongside with us to be invested in the city and also to learn and acquire skills as they do it. Awesome, we love that. Now you all are hosting a Booth and Bash event this year. Um, what can we expect to see from you guys at the event? So we're really excited. So on February 23rd, we will be at the Flower and Garden Show. We'll be there for the whole time. But on Friday, February 23rd, we're going to have this great after hours party. So folks who are interested in joining us can, can get a ticket online. And they actually have access to the Flower and Garden Show starting at 3. Nice. And then at 8, our after hours party starts. So it'll just be Knox and, and our guests. And we're really looking forward to having a good time to have that feeling of spring in the air, mm -hmm. even though it's the middle of February. And we're also really excited to be celebrating the great culture and art that's right here in Hartford. So we've got some great auction items from folks like the Wadsworth, uh, the Creative Cocktail Hour at Real Artways, mm -hmm. um, Theater Works, and so lots of local restaurants. And then we want to reflect that in the event. So we're going to have a lot of fun with it. We've got Connecticut Dance doing these really cool projections. We'll have a ah. caricature artist. And then also we've been working with Ann Coverly. We'll have some of the puppets from Nightfall, which is really cool because they're a lot of fun, but they also have that connection to nature and so mm -hmm. that's what we're all about helping people connect to nature and have access to that that green space so it's great to have that and it's a lot of fun to help support the work that we do at Knox. Yeah absolutely. Now when visitors are at the event what do you hope that they they gather once stopping by the Knox booth? Absolutely. So at the Knox booth, we really want to be a demonstration of, of our work in Hartford. So we're having a lot of fun right now, sort of forcing some trees. So we're hoping to have some flowering trees in the booth and really sh showcase that work that we do throughout the city. But we want folks to understand the interconnection of our work and what we do in the city, the importance of these green spaces benefits everyone, but mm -hmm. we have to have the intentionality to make sure that that happens that way, that people who are living in the city have access to garden space so they can grow fresh gardens and see what that looks like when they come to see uh, our exhibit, that we're engaging volunteers who are invested and care about making a difference in the city. I think that's what we spoke about last time when we were here yes, yes. For, for the Love Hartford Week. And just knowing that there's that opportunity to have and connect with nature right here in the city, that everyone should have access to the those benefits, but we need to work together to make sure, number one, that they're available, and then number two, that people know about them and can take advantage of them. Right, right. Be a part of your community, be involved, and grow some great things. So before we head out, go ahead and let people know how they can get the tickets. Sure. You can get tickets at our website, which is knoxhartford.org, so K-N-O-X hartford.org. Uh, I think we've also shared some QR codes and things mm. with, with you all. So, so be ready if a graphic pops up to, to get that get to get phone. that going. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So again, knoxhartford.org, K-N-O-X hartford.org. And you know, we also have for you, oh. for some of our guests here at the event, and they love these, we've got our flashing flower crowns. Guys. So want to make sure you've got a little piece of Knox with you and yes. are ready to come celebrate with us on February 23rd. It's giving Snapchat via 2016. <laughs> I love this. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And make sure you come out to the event and support your local community here. Do some good. That's right. Thank you so much. All right.